everyone, it's Jennifer Zimmerman from ModernColoring.com. I am going to do this pearl tutorial for the blue pearl as promised. Um, it's the simplest of all the pearls because it is monochromatic, meaning it's one color. So in this case, we're doing blue. We are going to have a light blue pencil and a dark blue pencil. You can really use any two pencils of your choice, but I would probably recommend uh, that you have some sort of contrast. So I've got a few different pencils here and I've got a couple different pencils here. My favorite pencil to use for, I call it um, my magic pencil, is this indigo blue, which looks actually like a black pencil, but it's a really dark blue. So what I would do to create this is I would start with one of your light colors, and I'm using light blue. And I'm just going to Put this right here so you can see what I'm doing. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, so there it's light blue there. And then this is my Prismacolor Indigo Blue. Okay, so you can see what I'm using here. I'm only using two colors. However, I do want to tell you that if you do want to give it a little extra punch, you can put a little hint of another color on one part of your pearl. So I'm going to use just a tiny, tiny bit of yellow just to set it off. But you do not need that at all. So I'm just going to do this just for a little added bonus. This is canary yellow. And you really could use pretty much any color. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my lightest color, and I like to call these my carve marks whenever I'm drawing something, and I'm going to circle the area if my light is coming from up here. I'm gonna circle a little area on the top part of my pearl that is gonna be left white. Okay, and I just carved that in. And I always divide my pearl in half with a curved light line, which as most of you know, if you've seen my other tutorials, I call this the belt because it looks kind of like the middle of its big belly, it's wearing a belt. And what I wanna do is I wanna use my lightest color with a sharp pencil. This is not quite sharp enough, so I like to use my little handy T-Gall sharpener or I've got um, an electric sharpener too, and Make sure your pencil isn't ridiculously sharp because if it is, it'll just break. So you might need to actually um, grind it down just a, a hair. So this is looking pretty good. And what I'll do is I will just, um, working from this line upwards with my lightest color, I'm gonna go towards that circle. And I don't wanna put any color at all in that white circle because that's gonna be my highlight. Just like that and then I'm going to use my indigo blue to just kind of create an edge along the top of this pearl just very slightly and I really do not use a lot of pressure at all you guys and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a belt that goes across with this indigo even down here a little bit. Now that I have that belt established, I can use my light blue a little bit down here as well. Okay, and I'm gonna go back into my indigo. And I'm just gonna start building this up just slightly, I'm going around the edges of the pearl. Kind of like that. I don't want to go too dark though because pearls really 
Um, with exception of the black pearl and maybe a couple darker green ones that I've seen, most pearls are not super high contrast. Most of them do not have um, like anywhere that's beyond about 50 or 60 percent darkness. So I would compare that to a 50 or, or 60 percent gray. So we don't want to go too dark. And you can see I'm going darkest here and on the edges here and here. A little bit over here. Um, what I will also do is I will take my indigo pencil and I will fill this area in just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit so it looks like the light is really hitting this over here. I usually start with my light pencil and then I work with my darker pencil and sometimes I'll go back in and use my lighter pencil just to kind of clean stuff up a little bit and make it a little smoother. And something that's bothering me about my pearl right now is that this highlight looks a little bit too stark. So I'm going to take a little piece of kneaded eraser here, clean it. It comes in a square that looks like that. And I'm going to just push down on that top part, kind of like Silly Putty, and lift it up. And you can see, if you look at my eraser, you can see it's pulled some blue off of there. So it's kind of smoothed that out. You can also use it if you make a little tip on it to grab a little bit this way. What I would not recommend is erasing back and forth. That will ruin your drawing. And then um, there's always an area of what we call reflected light on the bottom here. So I'll just make a little tip and I'll just pick up a tiny little bit over here by tapping it. And that's pretty much it. Now, you can deepen this if you want to. You can go back in and you can really deepen the color a little bit. Or, as I was mentioning before, you can add a hair of another color. So I'm deepening this with both colors of pencil and I'm really trying to get around the edges the most to make them the darkest. Again, my core, which is my belt, right here, is gonna be the darkest part of my pearl. You know, it's funny because in teaching this, this type of rendering to people, most people make the mistake and make the edge the darkest. And that is, generally speaking, not the way things go in, in real life. Um, we will have a core shadow on most objects, and depending what, on what material these objects are made out of, they will be affected differently. A pearl is highly reflective, so it's a little bit different than, say, a rubber ball. That would have a different effect. So I'm just deepening this a little bit. And I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow just for fun on one little side of my pearl just to give it a little iridescence. And you can either choose to do that or not. You don't have to, you can leave it monochromatic. It just kind of gives it a little extra. And if you wish, if it's your thing, to use a Prismacolor blender, I do have one of these blenders and I can blend these colors together so that they're a little bit more seamless. The blender will darken things, so you might want to Try it out on the side before you use one. They do really kind of make the colors look a bit richer. And they will eliminate some of those white spots that you will see when you're drawing lightly with a pencil. So it's up to you uh, which look you prefer and how you want to tackle it. And I always go very lightly. I never push too hard. If you need to go back over, the beautiful thing is you can. So I'm going to just deepen up my core one more time. So if you want to write in your part of parts of light notes, my light blue is my light. The white is actually the highlight.
And then my indigo blue is my core shadow. My canary yellow is, you know, part of the light as well because it's up on this side, but you don't you don't necessarily have to label that. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm hoping that that was helpful to you. You can do this pearl in any two versions of the same color. So if you wanted to do a light pink and a dark pink, if you wanted to do a light violet, uh, like, a, like a lilac and a darker violet, you could totally do that. Um, and if you want to add the extra little touch of color, you can or you can just forget about it. Okay? Anyway, I hope that this has been helpful for you and there will be more to come. Have a good one.